Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Hey everyone, it's Ian K for Peep This Out Reviews. Back at it once again over at Dickie's Barbecue Pit to go in on what looks to be some pretty awesome comfort food goodness. So let's go in on some legit Texas barbecue here at Dickie's Barbecue Pit with their brisket double cheese sandwich. And already I am digging the presentation of this one, starting off with the nice glossiness of this bun. It looks like we've got some nice meat juices lighting this one up pretty nicely here. Let's pop the top underneath. Looks like we've got a helping of their famous mac and cheese, definitely keeping it stuck together there for sure. And attached to that and also underneath it is their smoked brisket. Kind of thick cut as well, nice and chunky. Very lovely situation there. We've got a slice of cheddar cheese in the very bottom to kind of keep that all together, which is actually a very good thing. Not super melted, but looking really, really nice, but very thick, guys. And actually what I'm gonna be doing with this is going in on some barbecue sauce about halfway in. So this is looking like it's gonna be pretty tasty. And I gotta admit, it's gonna complement this sandwich, I'm thinking, pretty nicely. Since it's coming with it anyway, they want me to give it a shot and I'm gonna do it just for you. So here we go. It's the brisket double cheese sandwich here at Dickie's Barbecue Pit, some legit goodness. Let's keep out this flavor. Yeah, this thing pretty much had me as soon as I opened up the wrap on this one, guys. Judging by how wet the top of that bun was, I have a lot of high hopes for what's gonna be on the inside of this. And again, just looking at what we've got here, Look at that situation right there. Lots of thick cut smoked brisket action right there. And of course the mac and cheese goodness to go with. It's definitely got some height to it, a little on the small side in terms of the diameter, but the height is really, really good on this. So let's give this one a shot. But real quick and like always, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap that bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every week. Guys, the brisket double cheese sandwich here at Dickie's Barbecue Pit. Let's do it. Mmm. Oh. That is thick. The mac and cheese is thick. Mmm. Man. That is banging. Well, obviously, as you saw right off the break, the thickness of that mac and cheese is coming through amazing right now. And then you get the nice smoked flavor of the brisket. Very tender. But guys, this is very, very dense. Take a look on the inside there. And actually, with the cheese on the bottom, that is pretty much the placeholder to keep all the meat in place. And it's actually a very good thing. But man, this is very gluttonous, very delicious. Let's keep going with it. I'm digging it already though, it's good. Mm. Super gluttonous, super wet, super flavorful. And honestly, when I first saw this, I was thinking, okay, this does look really, really awesome. But I was worried about the amount of mac and cheese that was gonna be on the inside of this. Naturally, it's all across the top of it and naturally a very decent amount of meat on the inside. So while it's not a very, very big sandwich overall, because the diameter of it is a little on the small side, it's got some height, even though I've got it kind of crushed down over here. But man, the flavorfulness of that meat is amazing. The brisket is banging on this. It really is. And I think I probably could have benefited from a brisket sandwich diaper on this one because there's a lot coming out the back of this here. So I'm going to try and do this carefully, but we want to go in on some of that barbecue sauce. Naturally, there is a reason why they give it to you here. So let me try and give this a shot very carefully. Hopefully that's coming through. There we go. We'll try it on just that bite right over there. But I am already digging the smell of that barbecue sauce already, guys. It feels kind of sweet, kind of smoky already in the car. It's pretty strong. Let's do it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Sweet, smoky, kind of mesquite in flavor. And I got to say, that adds immediate flavor to the already flavorfulness of the brisket itself. And then, of course, the denseness of that mac and cheese, the cheddar goodness. This is just a very gluttonous sandwich, very home style, very comfort food. And it really satisfies all the boxes on what a really gluttonous type of barbecue sandwich would have with just mac and cheese and brisket. That's really all you really need with this. Even without that barbecue sauce, it would still be amazing. But if you want just a little bit of an extra flavor boost to it there, that's really a nice add on. But guys, this is just deliciously crazy. Let me show you one more time here. Lots of mac and cheese. Don't let the top of it fool you. It is very thick and it is all up in there. And then naturally with the thickness of the brisket, let me carefully bring this around. It's a very wet sandwich, a very lovely situation. This is a high water mark for a type of sandwich like this over at Dickie's because it combines what they do very well into a very lovely package. So a delicious situation. We're gonna go for one more bite with this one. I'll give you another close up because you've got plenty of them up to this point. You can never not see enough of this sandwich, I'm telling you right now. And then we'll finish this one out after the rating. Hang on. All right, I know we just did a 360, but we're gonna go for another one, guys, because why not? Lots of delicious brisket on this one. And of course the mac and cheese. The cheddar on the very bottom is blending with everything, so I can't really taste it too much because of how strong the mac and cheese is in general. 
But as you can see, guys, a very wet sandwich, a very delicious sandwich, and it is absolutely legit barbecue over here at Dickie's with this one. Really, really good. Yes, sir, some delicious comfort food goodness on the inside of that sandwich for sure. So overall, I'm gonna have to give the brisket double cheese sandwich here at Dickie's Barbecue Pit a rock solid nine out of 10. The only thing really keeping this one away from the top spot, technically, even though it really is a 10 out of 10 in flavor, is the size of it. Naturally, I'd wanna have just a little bit larger in terms of just the diameter to match the thickness. Considering the price point, I don't think it's too much to ask. At almost $8 for this, naturally, I think it would have been benefited by maybe just a little bit of a larger size. But overall, guys, it's got some height and the flavor absolutely matches. So is it worth your time? Absolutely. A nine out of 10 is easily worth your time, and that one easily satisfies. Very delicious. Okay, now the obvious question, did this one look pretty delicious to you right now? Do me a quick favor, drop some comments down below. Are you a fan of Dickie's Barbecue Pit in general? And if you are, what are some of the things you like to get here in addition to what you may have seen here already? Is there anything that you recommend? Drop some comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Absolutely some legit Texas barbecue over here at Dickie's, definitely. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks so much for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you missed the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.